I'm out! Hello, everybody! Welcome back to the, um, the walkthrough Let's Play of the Randomized Links of the Past. Boy, that's a mouthful. I'll figure that out later. Um, we're on a quest today to get the Not Ice Rod over here in the corner, so uh, ignore that balloon, dude. This is a little bit of a treacherous path, but uh, hopefully it's worth our time. So, yeah. If I remember correctly, um, it's the, the ice rod is the only treasure here. You could lift up that rock, but I think all there is is some pots with money and a guy who talks about stuff. So we just want to go in here and grab our treasure. And it's money. Great. So now, I'm going to go ahead and um, save and quit with the select button. That'll help us get back to um, another area quickly. So we're going to go over here. That'll be the sanctuary, and that'll be much closer to our goal. Yeah, it's a handy little trick. A lot of speedrunners use the, the save and quit to warp around. Uh, I like it in some situations, but in general, I do like playing the game a little more... Um, a little more normal. Well, I mean... It's not abnormal. What I'm trying to say is... I don't know what I'm trying to say, actually. I guess I want to play fair. But it's impossible to play fair all the time in the randomizer. Anyway, we're off to the Eastern Palace right now. We're going to see if we can beat that dungeon today. That'd be cool. Since we have the bow, there's nothing to worry about except maybe ammo. Hopefully we run into some enemies that drop healthy amounts of arrows. Or find other things like that. Normally you find lots of arrows just lying around and stuff like that. Alright. There's also a couple of chests we can get in Sahrasala's little um, hovel here. So we gotta get there first. Use one of our last bombs there too. Alright. I could talk to him, but I don't need to. I don't think I need to, at least. Yeah, there's three chests back here. Let's see. 100 rupees, a piece of heart, and more bombs. Alright, that's another heart container, too, so... Now we're a little ahead of the curve. Um, but once we're done with the Eastern Palace, you want to make sure to come back and talk to Sir Hoshala, because he'll give you um, the Not Pegasus Boots. There we go, that's some arrows. We should start killing those guys. They're not too hard when you use the spin attack. Or when um, Octorox don't bother you. There we go. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, the Eastern Palace actually has a fair amount of chests that aren't just the key items of the area. So, that's one reason I like going to it. Um, it's completely unlike the other two dungeons in the Light World, which are entirely composed of I um, chests that are only key items. And when I say key items, I mean keys, like the normal keys and the big key, and the map of the compass. Not the item of the dungeon, which is going to be shuffled around, no matter what. So in here, we've got these little bunny cactus guys. They always drop money for some reason. Or at least, it seems like they do. Alright. Now, normally I wouldn't do this, but over here is another chest that we need to get. And the randomizer could be important. It's the big key! So, yeah, that was pretty damn important. <laughs> yeah, just because the items are all, in this, all still shuffled amongst each other doesn't mean that they're not going to be in places that you wouldn't think to look. So... Gotta make sure to scour the entire place. Uh, actually, I should go over here first for the not compass. I always um, forget the optimal route for going through this place, but I think I got it down now. Finally. Yeah, if you spin attack those guys, they cannot escape quickly enough. Switches in the middle, pretty easy. Over here we got the compass. If you got the hook shot early, you could just um, hook shot over to it. Whoa! <laughs> Speak of the devil! Great! 
Hookshot is really important. It, um, it's going to, yeah, it's going to help me with um, Death Mountain later. We can get a whole crap ton of treasure with the Hookshot. Plus, it's just a really good offensive tool, too. I have never appreciated the Hookshot more than I have in the Randomizer. Look at that. Stun these guys. Normally the Boomerang just deals damage to them for whatever reason. It's not even good damage. The hookshot just outright stuns them, makes them sit in ducks. But yeah, that's pretty good. That's like the first real fortune we've had on this run. Double kill. Oh, he did need a little magic there. I accidentally used the cape last time. So over here, we're going to get some little skeleton action here. Let's see. Can I do this? Haha! <laughs> nice. If you don't have the hook shot, you can throw pots at them. That works just as well. Alright, good. We're going to need all the arrows we can get. So, uh, even though I have the big key, and I could just go to the end right now, I've got to make sure I get all the chests. Even if it's just the map and the compass, uh, I like making sure that I haven't missed anything. Like, in there, there's the map, so at least there's that. So then i got to go around to the chest where the um, bow would normally be. Um, no, not the bow, the, um, the big key would normally be up here. So you gotta kill that guy, hit that switch, duck into here real quick. And, uh, over here is the key that we need to get over here. I still got that money. That's in there. Let me get you to move across this place to the, um, the big key chest. Now, there's a way to step on that switch without killing everyone here, but I just want to do things the easy way. And I'm going to be using this hookshot pretty liberally, so uh, forgive me if... Um, oh my god. Forgive me if that um, changes the way that you think about the game, but use it or lose it, that's what I think. I could use an arrow on this guy, but I'm being conservative with my ammo here. Got it. Alright, now we're full up on arrows. That's good. And here, compass. Yeah. So, that's all the treasure in the area. There's no treasure past the big key door. So, yeah. I knew that that was kind of pointless, but at the same time, it's a walkthrough. I gotta make sure to show you how to get to every chest in the dungeon, or else you might get stuck. And we don't want that. Alright, just pretty much collecting money here. And like I said before, we don't have the lamp, but we can still see in the darkness because we're still in the light world. Uh, let's see. Oh, one of these guys has the key. Oh, I thought I had the bow on. <laughs> oh, I didn't drop off the mushroom. I said I was going to do that. Uh, well, I'll do it. I'll do it on our way out. There's just money in here, but I'm going to grab it anyway. We're going to be spending a lot of it soon, soon enough to get the flippers, or the not flippers, from King Zora. And I'm missing those. Usually I get those pretty early, but not this time. Ow. Damn it. need to kill those guys. Or worry about that. Those things come out too, too slowly to matter. Alright, so these red guys, you need the bow. If you don't have the bow, there's no going past this point. So, if you don't have the bow, don't even bother trying to go past this point. You can duck into here for some treasure, but you're gonna miss out on, you know, beating the dungeon. Now, that's always satisfying. I don't think there's any way to proc only one of those guys. 
Fight me. Alright, so we're fully stocked and ready for the boss of this place. This, this boss is pretty easy. Just um, stick to the bottom and shoot them a lot. Three arrows to kill one. Just try not to miss. Ah. Okay, got him. Here we go. You always get the heart container and the pendants when you beat these guys, because those are drops, not fixed items. And you do still need all the pendants to get the Master Sword, though you don't always necessarily need the Master Sword as well. I'll, um, if that comes up, I'll explain it, but, uh, not right now. So let's go get the Not Pegasus Boots. Those could be something else that is interesting and good and useful. Beat that dungeon pretty quick. I wasn't expecting to be like only at a like a little over ten minutes. Yes, I know, I'm the great hero. Alex Prince. So give me the stuff. Ten arrows. Well I guess I needed them. Alright, so now we're in a bit of a a bind, because it can't beat Dungeon 2 without the Power Glove, and it can't beat Dungeon 3 without the Power Glove, because we need to lift the rock to get to the mountain. So, we're going to need to do some more exploring and see what other chests we can find. There's like a couple things around the desert. Maybe what we get from the mushroom is good. There's always a way, though. So we're going to go ahead and do the mushroom real quick, since we're here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have the glove yet. No, I don't. I don't even have the flippers. Hopefully I get one or two of those soon. Alright, let's get the mushroom out. Normally this leads to the magic powder, but since um, everything's randomized, no guarantee. So we just go one screen back and then go in here and uh, shovel. Okay, that'll lead to a different piece of treasure. We might as well check that. Uh, let's see. You know it would be faster to save and quit and go back to my house. I know it's my house because it has my name on it. Get to me. Okay, good. It always starts you with you being hurt and you need to get some hearts back for whatever reason. Actually, no. Uh, I want to go this way. <laughs> I don't even know why I walked into that guy. Took damage to save time. Didn't really save any time. I'm no speedrunner. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Not for this game. Maybe a different game. Yeah, we want to use the shovel to get the um, ocarina up here. And that's pretty much its only use in terms of getting treasures, or in any situation. Eh, we'll trigger this, why not? You don't need to trigger this to dig up the um, flute, but... The music's okay. So it's always in here. Uh, here. Aha! Ah, <sighs> thank... Okay, so, that means we are in a good spot again. And you see, if you didn't think to give the mushroom to the person, you might end up stuck for, like, ever, trying to figure out where to go next. But uh, now we have the power glove, we can go to the dungeons in any order we want, so... And why not? Let's um, head for the Death Mountain, so I can show you some other tricks in that area. Plus, we can unlock the, um, the save and quit warp point for that area, too. 
I love exploring the mountain in this version because normally all that treasure is pointless and dumb and it's just like money and supplies you don't need. But in this game, it could be anything. It could be some crucial, crucial stuff. Uh, let's get the hookshot out. That's another reason why I'm heading to the mountain, because the hookshot will help us get across. Don't care about that guy. Oh, the gloves can also help us get to the Zora, Zora's River, but uh, I wasn't thinking about that. Uh, no, I'm going to go this way. Hello, old man. Come along. Yeah, I can see the hole in front of me. Don't worry. You just like Mr. Exposition. You can actually say some interesting things if you go the wrong way on purpose. Uh, <laughs> some stuff I didn't know about in the past few times I played the game. Alright. Death Mountain is obviously pretty dangerous. Let's see. But first, this guy's gonna give us something. Cane of Birna. Um, it's handy. Uh, it doesn't give us any treasure. But uh, now we have both of the items that make us invincible. Yay? <laughs> okay, so... From here, my plan is to head to the... Death Mountain other side. Now, you might be thinking to yourself... But Alex Britt, uh, don't you need the magic mirror to get to the third dungeon? And yes, you do, in a normal game. But if you have the hookshot, you can also just work your way around to it through, by going this way. Although, you might also need the hammer. So, if I don't end up finding the hammer here, I might have to back out. But at the same time, I've unlocked the save and quit points, so... That'll be fine if that happens. I can always come back here pretty easily. So, first things first, I want to go in here. So, what I want to do is I want to fall down here. That leads you to here, where you can uh, use a bomb to open this up. And there's a whole bunch of treasure in there. Well, there's a little treasure. Nothing huge. Blue tunic? Piece of heart? That blue tunic's pretty good. <laughs> I don't... I don't usually get that this early, so... It's gonna make the rest of the game pretty interesting. Okay, now we have this room, where we gotta kill these guys. Uh, Hookshot also one-shots these guys, so... I believe this barrier, you can just, um, throw a bomb over it and you'll be fine. Excuse me. More chests. Money. Money. Arrows. Come on, something good, something good. Money. Titan's mitt. Not that we needed it. <laughs> um, okay, now we fall down again. And uh, we go this way. Now I gotta go past these guys and take the same path I did before, but this time we're climbing to the surface. Speaking of the Dark World, if you get stuck because you wandered into it and you don't have the magic mirror, um, just, just save and quit. The game will know that you can't get back there and it will give you the option to restart in the Light World. Even though normally it would restart you at the Pyramid, um, doesn't happen. Okay. So now we want to go down here. There's like a single chest we can get by falling down this way. This would be a lot easier to get through if I had the Pegasus boots, but I do not. At least I can kill those guys without worrying about their electricity. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Wouldn't the hookshot conduct the electricity because it's metal? Whatever, I'm thinking too realistically. That's what playing Breath of the Wild would do to you. One chest. Boomerang! Handy! Doesn't get me any chests, but I can upgrade it to the Magical Boomerang. Although the Magical Boomerang is in a chest, 
in the game as well. So, if you want to hunt for it in that way, you can as well. Let's see, so I didn't get the hammer. Is there anything else I can grab while I'm here? Uh, I don't think so. Well, actually, there are a couple of things over on the other side of Death Mountain that I could grab, but... Other than that, I think we're locked out of doing the third dungeon right now. I, uh... I think I... Yeah, I forgot about the hammer requirements. Because there's some stakes in the way if you go up through the other side. I think it's cool how there's a couple different ways to get to Dungeon 3 in this game. Uh, Tower of Heb Hera. I was thinking Hebra, but no, that's, that's the mountain we're on. In the Japanese version, at least. So, let's see if this is anything worth worrying about. There's some bombs over there. That's not important. Over here is more bombs. Uh, I guess I'll show you how to get to those. You gotta hop down here. It's either here or the other one. We'll find out. Man, I'm getting hurt. I thought I had the freaking blue tunic. I'm supposed to be... I'm supposed to be defensive monster right now. Well, if worst comes to worst, I have a couple blue potions I can burn. I prefer to have fairies, but... Uh... Oh, speaking of fairies, there's actually some over here. Yeah, we did go the wrong way. But that's okay. I needed the health. I'll just rationalize it as that. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to grab the bombs, and then I'm going to cut the episode off there while I um, save and quit and work my way over to the desert so we can do that dungeon instead. We're going to need to hunt for some more treasure after we do that, if we still haven't found the hammer. Hammer could be in that dungeon, we don't know. But if it's not, then we'll probably have to go into Zora's River. And if it's not there, then we'll have to look for some other stuff. Okay, so yeah. Directly south from the cave entrance. I don't know why I didn't think of that. That's where the entrance is supposed to be. Come on, you're better than this, Alex. Alright. So there we go. Three more bombs. Alright then, so... That'll be it for this episode of the Randomized Link to the Past run. I hope you all have enjoyed it, and I hope you're finding my advice useful so far. So yeah, next time we're going to go to the Desert Palace and clear that dungeon. Hopefully it won't be so bad with our blue tunic. And from there, we'll go hunting for more treasure. I'm Oxprit, and I'll see y'all later. <laughs>